on in the pandemic. It was a, used as a way to track COVID cases in the workplace, but now even as cases soar, the state's COVID watch list no longer leads to shutting down a business. News 13's Annalisa Pardo is here to explain. Annalisa. Well, the state environment department says it hasn't looked to close a business due to COVID since early last year. Our efforts, instead of, again, a broad spread closure, we instead um, started to focus more on um, on engaging employers where necessary. The state does still publish the COVID watch list so workers and the public can make informed decisions on where to go. But they say they and employers have learned more about the virus and prevention methods over the last couple years. So now employers with positive cases report to the Environment Department's OSHA Bureau and explain what actions they're taking to prevent further spread in the workplace. If an employer does not respond with those actions or the number of infections in the workplace continue to go up, then the OSHA Bureau reaches out. Rapid response is still considered an important prevention method. Most employers, uh, in fact, the, the vast majority of employers now know what to do when they have positive cases in the workplace. Um, but there are still a number of employers that need some assistance. Now, the state also used to require restaurants and hospitality businesses to get trained on COVID safe practices to open at higher capacities. But if you go to that training program's website today, it says it was no it was no longer needed as of July. And according to the city of Albuquerque's website, the city's environmental health department hasn't done a COVID inspection on a business since June. At that time, they told us those were mostly complaint driven inspections and the number of complaints went down significantly as the state opened up. Back to you. All right, thank you, Annalisa. Schools in the state can also be put on the watch list when they reach a 5% infection rate. It requires the schools to implement enhanced COVID safe practices like outdoor learning or banning spectators at school events.